What's going on guys? Welcome back to No Legs, No Problem TV. I am still at Land Between the Lakes National Recreation Area and I am in the parking lot of the North Welcome Station. I've shown you guys this before but now this is a little bit different. So for me I'm here today because I'm going bike riding and I can't do the trails like the mountain bikers do but there's a paved trail that I can take and I'm gonna go enjoy myself. So come on. Now back when I could wiggle my toes, I used to ride mountain bikes all the time. And I've had Gary Fishers, I've had Specialized, I've had cheap knockoff bikes, but I've always ridden mountain bikes, and that's something I actually used to do with my son a lot long, long time ago. And of course, I can't pedal anymore. Um, my legs are not made for that. Uh, just doesn't work out, and that's okay. I have my electric bike, and I generally use it for scooting around camps, but they have a paved trail here at Land Between the Lakes, and it starts at the North Welcome Station. So for a little bit of nostalgia, I guess for me, I'm going to start here at this parking lot that I used to come to all the time. I'm going to take the paved trail down and back, see what I can find and see what I can remember because this paved trail was probably one of the first trails that I ever took my son on when he and I would go mountain bike riding together. So before I even get started, I want to show you guys my bike. Most of you probably have seen it before, but maybe you have not. It's a Razor Echo Smart Metro. I've done lots of upgrades to it. You can learn more about that if you want to. But I carry it, and I always get asked this as well, I carry it right there on the back of my hitch on that guy right there. And that's about a $20 or $25 hitch extender with a step from Harbor Freight. And it carries this electric bike just great. I've got a couple of little pannier bags, itty bitty tiny ones. I carry extra batteries for my equipment. And I've got a bigger bag on here that I use to carry my bigger camera and things like that. And, you know, snacks and whatnot. Up here on front, I have a, I have a handlebar extender. I've got my phone on it. I've got my GoPro on it. And that's the bike. Well, you guys know I just can't turn down stopping at a cemetery. Always so much history around. This cemetery is the Nickel Cemetery. Now, there are all kinds of cemeteries out here between Land Between the Lakes. Before Land Between the Lakes was Land Between the Lakes, it was a community between two rivers. 
and there was a lot of controversy about the government coming in and, and damming up the rivers and making the lakes and making the reservoirs and the power generation and, and all of those things because it di displaced a lot of people. Now the cemeteries that are up closer to the trace, they've been here since they were put here. Some of the cemeteries that, are, that would now be underwater in the lakes, they've been moved to other places. There were a lot of communities down here that people had to sell out and move. And there are some people that to this day are still upset about it, and understandably so. Now the gate doesn't have a lock on it and there are no posted and no trespassing signs. So I think it's okay for me to check this out. Now I'm not gonna go very far up into this cemetery I think about right here will be good enough for me and the reason for that is it's close to 100 degrees here today and with all the humidity that we have it's very hard for me to be outside and do a lot of walking it's a lot different than when I'm out west where it might reach 80 or 85 degrees but there's little humidity when it's really hot like this um, I sweat, and when I sweat, uh, especially around my legs, uh, my legs don't want to stay on right, and it makes my walking very unsteady. So I'm not going to walk too far up into this cemetery, but we'll stay, still take a, a good look around. Now there is the oldest grave that I can see in this cemetery. Jeremiah Nickel was born 1758 died in 1824. Sarah Polly, maiden name of Owen, born 1777 and died 1844. That dates this cemetery to at least pre-Civil War, and possibly there could be older ones here, and this could be pre-Revolutionary War. Kentucky was settled before the Revolutionary War, but it didn't become a state until well after. I don't remember when Kentucky became a state, but I know it's the 16th state. Kentucky was originally part of Virginia, so Kentucky was part of one of the original states, and then the people of Kentucky had it cut off, uh, and they became their own commonwealth. So this cemetery could very well be dating before the Revolutionary War. I see a flag. Hang on. Well, there is Lynn B. Nickel. Born July 16th, 1847, died August 6th, looks like 1883. There's an American flag right there at that person's grave. That person was probably a veteran of the Civil War or something else, I'm not sure. But I'm certainly glad that someone came and put a flag where they're resting. Well, I've locked the gate back up. I'm going to leave the nickels to their resting. Now, if you come down here to land between the lakes and you just have a regular bike and you want to go cruising around, the pavement trail that I'm on continues on past this cemetery and keeps going way out into the woods. But it stays pretty close to the road the entire way. So if you have trouble or whatever else, you can keep on going. I've come a mile or two but it's getting super hot, I'm getting hungry, and somebody recommended a good burger place to me up in Grand Rivers. I think I'm gonna go eat.
Well, I was going to go eat at a place down in Grand Rivers that was recommended to me that has frozen yogurt and really good burgers, but Grand Rivers was packed. There was no parking and it did not look like a lot of fun for me. So I've run down the road to Katawa where I'm going to have some lunch at the Oasis Grill. Now, interestingly enough, I uh, haven't seen these since I was out west. But let me turn you around and check this out. You see those right over there? That is a Tesla charging station. And it's right next to the Oasis at the Katawa exit on Interstate 69. Barkley Dam and Powerhouse. We used to come down here all the time and catfish at night. It's not as much catfish now and a whole heck of a lot more Asian carp. Still a pretty cool place. Well, lunch was pretty good. Fish tacos, I know. Something you've seen me eat before. But I enjoyed it. I always love coming down here to Land Between the Lakes. I've been coming down here for probably close to 40 years. Parents brought us down here. As soon as I could drive, I would come down here and spend a lot of time. And then back when I could wiggle my toes and I had a real job, I worked down here a lot. There's a lot to see and there's a lot to enjoy. So if you get a chance to come down to Land Between the Lakes and the Kentucky Lakes area in general, come on down and check it out. There's lots to do and there's lots to see. been sitting on the steps watching that barge behind me go up in the lock that's been pretty cool but it's hot it's been a long day I'm tired I think I'm ready to go back to camp I hope you guys have enjoyed because I certainly have I will see you guys on the next episode. And don't forget, even when it's hot and your legs almost fall off, as long as they didn't, then it's uh, no legs, no problem. History around. This cemetery is the Nickel Cemetery. And there are all kinds of bugs out here today. Three, two, one.